Hi hey guys, this is round two for record set basics. I'm going to kind of go into how you can change the value that you were checking for in the first video. So if you did not watch the first video, I recommend doing that so some of this makes sense of what we're building off of. Um, first video, um, I did take out the message box that I had in there already, so you'll notice that's different. Um, but I wanted to build off of that, and I want to take this out too. Um, so initially, we are checking, okay, look for the student name field and table existing students where the student name is what we put in a text box. Then it sets the record set and then it goes in and says, okay, if you found something which is not the uh, record set end of file, end of file being it found nothing. So if you did not find nothing, which it found something, I had it throwing a message box. So I'm gonna, which I'm going to change that message box, which is why I already have it deleted. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we'll go back. Um, what I wanted to do is um, I'm going to have this now check for the student grade. And it's going to run a comparison. Okay, the student's already in there, but last time, let me move over to the table. Last time they were entered, John Doe was in grade 9. But now you're trying to say John Doe is in grade 10. So, do you want to update this value? And I can show you two comparisons, which I'll try to do this quickly to uh, minimize the length of this video that you guys are sitting and watching. Um, I'll try to do it quickly, but... So, as you've seen in the table, um, the student name, or student grade, sorry, field is called student grade. Which it's easy as that when you want to add to a record set, kind of like if you did a query, um, the VBA record set, just type this in, the uh, other field. It's still coming from the same table and we still care what the student's name is. We don't really have to say where student grade is such and such because we actually want to check to see if that's different. So we're gonna say if it finds something then I'm gonna say okay if um, select RS which is our record set you have to use the exclamation to be able to reference the field of the record set So if the record set student grade is not equal to me dot grade, and I think I mentioned the last one, I always use the me keyword because it gives me a quick pop-up, makes it easier for me to remember because if I work on something one week and then work come back to it, I might have some sort of an incline on what I name stuff, but the me helps me figure it out without having to go back and look at the form every time. So. This says if the record set value, which for John Doe would be grade 9, is not what I put in the text box, then it's going to say, um, I copied this already, so I put a message box in an if statement. So it's going to say, okay, student already exists, but the grade is different. Do you want to update? And then I made VB yes no is the style of the message box. So the buttons on that, instead of being the default OK, will be yes or no. So I'm saying if it's yes, then we're going to go in. And the way I like to do this, you can do it other ways, but I use the uh, with statement. So I'm going to say with select RS, which prevents me from then having to say, OK, select, select RS dot edit. Well, since I already have with select RS, all I need here is dot edit. So I don't have to put select rs in there every time. So dot edit. Um, the field is student grade. And student grade is going to equal what we're entering in because they wanted to update it. So student grade is now going to be this value. And then the last thing you have to do dot update. And one thing I forgot, which I usually do initially, make sure you end any of your statements, such as an if or a with. It's simple as that if we wanted to update that. Otherwise, alternative, I'll write some random code, and I don't know how deeply I'm going to dig into this, but I could say, okay, current, this is going more into SQL, so I'm going to go quickly through this. Dot execute, insert, into um, what's my table name again existing can't spell existing students I 
and then I can go in and I can say, you know, is this supposed to be here? I can give it my fields, which is going to be student grade, and then values. And then I gotta, since it's in VBA, you gotta have the. Uh, I can't think here. Your uh, single tick marks. And then I gotta close my quote. And me dot grade. So, long story short, there's a lot more typing to do the SQL route in VBA to update the same record set compared to just doing this. So, sorry, that was rambling a little bit, but needless to say, this route, in my opinion, is better and quicker. So, we'll see if I could code this correctly the first time, and let me put my break in here again so we can monitor what it's doing. I'm going to go in here. As we saw, John Doe is grade 9. I'm going to close the table, because otherwise I don't think it's going to want to update for me on view. So, I'm going to say student Oops, I have to uh, activate the form. So student name is John Doe. The grade this time, though, is 10. So this is where the SQL statement is going to say, okay, select student name, student grade from existing students table, where student name is, come on, John Doe. So that's correct. We're going to set the record set. We're going to say, okay, is the record set, did you find something in the record set? It went through to the next line, which means it found something. So now we're going to say, okay, select RS student grade. What does that hold? We're going to hover over it. It's going to say, okay, student grade, it says is 9. Well, I typed in 10. So now it's going to go on yet again to the next one and say, okay, we'll see a pop-up come up. Student already exists, but the grade is different. Do you want to update? I'm going to say yes. So it's going to come in the next line and so say OK, select RS. Now we're going to edit the, that. I'm going to say the student grade is what we put in here, which is 10. And then update. I could have stepped through it without having to go line by line, but we'll go back in here and say OK, existing students. Look at that. John Dow, Dow, John Doe is now grade 10. So basically we updated his record with a few short lines of code compared to an SQL insert statement like I rambled on about before or a query to do such a simple thing. You just say, okay, I already pulled it here in VBA. Now I'm just going to say, okay, update that. This is our record set. I want to edit it. This is the field and what it's supposed to be and I'm updating it. So, about as simple as that. Um, I don't think I necessarily have a whole lot more to go on with this one. Um, I'm going to leave it with the record set update as simple as that. Um, hopefully that helps somebody uh, learn something, possibly a quicker way, uh, another technique under the belt. So, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, send me a message, leave a comment, ask away, and if you want to see something, as always, hit me up for that too. Say, you know, hey, I don't understand this. Let me know. I'll see if I can't make a video. So thanks for watching, guys.